what the camera has to see. It's an old movie trick dating all the way back to the silent era. To add to the sense of realism and avoid the cost of set building, many of today's television shows and movies film on location in cities and towns across the U.S. But out in the real world, you've got to contend with noise, traffic, crowds, and various visual elements that may or may not belong in your film. Here on the back lot, we can avoid these problems because we created our very own flexible urban environment. Our Streets of America facades can stand in for a small town or a giant metropolis. As we come around the last corner on our route, you'll see the skyline of New York City in the distance. It's really a series of painted flats, expertly designed to fool the eye and the camera. We can dress and decorate these streets to look like any city we want, from Chicago to San Francisco. Depending on the choice of vehicles, props, and costumes, we can even turn back the clock and set our story in a different time. And what's more, these sets are built with Florida weather in mind. They're made to withstand 100 mile an hour winds. You're welcome to visit our Streets of America anytime during your visit today and get an up-close look at the skills of our set designers and builders. We've just about reached the end of our tour. Our final stop is the American Film Institute showcase where you can see the actual costumes and movie props used in some of Hollywood's most famous films. There are some pretty amazing items in there, so feel free to take all the time you like. Please stay seated until our tram comes to a complete stop and check around you for any personal 